everybody and how are you? My name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch and at The Flower Patch I make beautiful artificial flower arrangements for all occasions. Right guys, before we start I just wish to say, uh, give my apologies for not being a, uh, making a uh, video yesterday due through I had a um, big furniture delivery for my house and when it's got here we set it up and realized it was the wrong one so i've had to ring them back this morning to come and fetch it and i've had to box it all up with my son and we've had to go out and buy another part of the home uh, house furniture and which is um, a three-seater and a two-seater leather sofa so um Unfortunately, um, the other one was, wasn't the right one, so I need it quick and they can't deliver another one until November, so I've had to tell them to come and collect this one and um, I've had to go this morning again and purchase one from an outlet shop. So, uh, and it was more expensive. <laughs> But hopefully that's coming tomorrow. So I'm going to have to sit on a uh, my son's fishing chair over the night uh, until it arrives tomorrow. So my apologies, guys. Um, but I did receive um, a little, well, I say a little, a message uh, from somebody asking that they saw that I did, where are they gone? Oh, they know they've sold the uh, green parcels, uh, the three parcels together or the gifts gift box um and they'd like to know if i could do a single one because they've only they've got one and but it's only one they haven't got three so uh, they'd like it in black silver and white because the decor is uh, i think the uh, young lady said white units or cabinets and a black contemporary sofa something like that but she wants something to go with it and her Christmas tree decorations are black and white and silver. So she doesn't want it overly big uh, because she's a very minimal person. So uh, she'd just like it to be shown in a simple way where there's not really much to it. So fingers crossed I can achieve that. Cause, so that's what we're going to do today. So I've got out my single... Um, silver gift with it's come with the ribbon on the top I've attached a little piece of um, dried foam onto it with cable ties I've threaded the cable ties through the mesh and uh, just to have a little bit on there it does come with lights if you can see them inside <laughs> so it does come with lights but we'll switch those off I have made a small bow um, in black and white, black, silver and white. Now, it's only a five inch. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on, but I've made one just to be on the safe side. So, and I've placed a little white um, centerpiece to cover my mechanics. And if I place it on, I've got cable tie, but I will thread it also through the mesh of the gift box. So let's just go through what we've got. I've got glitter everywhere. The... Let me just get red. So I'm going, she want, oh, she did want a little bit of green because obviously she says green, uh, Christmas foliage isn't Christmas without green foliage. So, oh my goodness, everything's going wrong. There we go. So I got out some uh, pine needles, the rubbery, well, pine tree leaf, um, the rubbery one textured. I've only got five out again. I don't want to do it over, too much for her because she says she's quite minimal. Um, and I've got out the, uh, the conifer as well. So we're using some of that and I've only got about five of those as well. One, two, three. Oh, I thought I got five out, but I've 
I've got six instead. I may put a bit of, just again, as I like to do, to soften it, some sage leaves in as well. Now, I have got white fern, and I've been looking at it, and I don't know whether I'm going to use this. Um, but I've got out my white fern. I like this. I really do like this. So um, I'm, I may put probably one in, two, three max. So we'll see as we go along. Now I've got one of these left, these ginkgo leaves that I sprayed in white. So I thought I could just pop that in somewhere. Let me just cut that down because I don't need it that long. So I thought we could use that. Now I have got some hanging, uh, some trailing vine. Now I thought just for the movement instead of the other things that I tend to use, I'll just put a little bit of vine in it just so it's a bit, you know, thin and spiky and gives that, you know, nice airy movement. I have got out some black, I keep seeing fluff on everything. Some black um, fern as well. I think I got five out of these. Yes, I've been counting out in fives maximum that I won't go above. So I've got some of our black fern that I've cut down and we, we're going to incorporate some of those as well. Now, I found these as I was going along in my oddments box. So I thought a bit of flocked twiggy bits so we could incorporate those um, to give off that little Christmassy theme with a bit of snow. I did get my white swirls out, but I don't know if I'm going to place them in. Who knows? It may add to it, but I've only got three out again. And I've just placed a few black eucalyptus uh, on some picks. I have got quite a few here, but... Um, I'm not going to use them all. I, I did quite a few because I'm using some on another project. Um, so I've just used those, uh, cut those down and that. Now I have got my silvery glittery bag out with a few oddments I've pushed in to keep out the way of some bay leaves. So I may incorporate those. Um, I've got some, if I can part it, some conifer as well and then some of this like tree uh, fern as well oh and i've also got in here gosh let's just get it out a tree fern also so i thought we could maybe use one of those i've got an option so of the silver so i've just placed all those in one bag and then I've got out again th just three of my peacock feathers. I've already placed them on picks, and so we've. Uh, I want to add those in for a little bit of like. I think they give off a little elegant look to to an arrangement, and as well as it being wispy, my favourite. So I've just grabbed the bunch, black poinsettias in glitter. I thought we could add a few small ones, you know, two or three maybe. But then I decided to get out my big poinsettia. I haven't even fluffed it up yet. Let's get it fluffed up. That goes there. So if I just fluff it up a little. But this is divine. And I got these off Lily Jade. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they just lovely? Let me take the tag off. I thought when I got them, they are fantastic. I've got to have them. And with them having silver in the centre, perfect. So that I'm considering placing on top where the bow is. And, and the bow can just be something underneath it, but that to sit on top. So that's all we've got today, guys. Again, I've not got lots out. So 
I thought, let's get cracking. I missed yesterday, I really did. It just didn't, it felt weird. It just felt so weird. So if I add the bow again, like I say, I may attach it a bit further down so we've got a bit of, you know, bow going down if the uh, if I decide to put the black and white poinsettia up here or I may place that there and place the poinsettia down here in, at, the, at the bottom instead. We'll see. But I'm going to alter the uh, camera. So, oh, and I'm not... I just thought, I, I am in a jolly mood, you know, I always am, but I've got this rash on underneath my skin on my neck and it's really, really itchy. I think it's some uh, product that I use because I cleanse my skin in the morning and I brought a different one and I think it's irritated my skin. It's, when I touch it, I can feel lumps and like a rash type lump, bumpy underneath my skin. And it's so itchy. Every time something catches, I want to just scratch. So, and I feel that it's going up, up towards my chin as well because my chin feels like it's got it too. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Let's have a look what we're going to do. So I'm going to leave it about there so you can get to see. And what I'm going to do, I need to decide whether I want the bow or the poinsettia down at the bottom. I think I want the poinsettia down at the bottom because my my thought is I want to bring everything coming from here down from the cut to the corner. Um, and that is what I'm trying to think of doing. So I may attach the bow above. Let's make a decision, Iris. So I'm gonna have to, cause I can't go through, cause it's glued, fastened down. Or can I lift that up? No, it's all glued down. So I may have to glue this down actually. Let's just cut this off instead. I've got my glue gun on today. Oh, I'm sorry. So let's get a bit of glue on it. And I'm gonna stick it in the center. Just there. And I'm going to bring, let me get the glue off my hands first. I'm gonna bring the loops in between the silver loops. So it balances it all out. So we've got like that. So it looks like I've placed another bow on, but I haven't. So, or should I say another piece of ribbon. So that's what we're all gonna do with that. So first of all, I want to be getting in my foliage. So I want to get in our conifer and again, I'm going to be bringing it uh, down. So first of all, I'm going to start underneath here and bring a piece under here. So I want to just bring it so it's it's leaning on to the bottom. And get another piece. And I'm going to bring up here from the side because so I want some from to show it from the side as well coming down. Let me cut this stem a bit shorter. And then do the same. Where shall I do it? Around here. But bring it down this way more. I've got fluff on it. I think it's from this card jacket I'm wearing. So we'll get another piece. And I also want a piece above. 
so that is going over so you've got it coming down this down here your arrangement so I don't think I need any more if I do I'll just place those to the side so we'll do our pine needles next hi hun Hello. thank you you're welcome so now I've got because these are quite long I want to bring one just slightly underneath where the conifer is I want to bring it just a little bit longer so it elongates it so let's just cut off a little bit of that length so I'm going to go under here and I don't want it too much longer it's just so you've got a different uh, foliage and I am manipulating them sorry if you can't see my husband's bought me a drink bless him so we'll cut this on a little shorter and I'm going to place that one in the centre or around the center and I'm going up at an angle and that's the reason I do that is so it it leans downwards if I went it stuck it in straight let's just then it would uh, it wouldn't go down without me having to bend it let's just <coughs> excuse me let me just have a look let's see Place it there. Can't get it to sit straight, the wire. That's it. And then I'm going to want one at the top. Now, the one at the top I'm going to cut. Again, I don't want it. too much so I'm going to place one there and just slightly bend it so it's hanging over then the other piece I'm going to do the same on the opposite side of the conifer but in a similar place and bend that one over as well so I want something here so I'm going to cut another piece off so I don't want to go too long down, you know, with, oh, I can see glue hanging from me. Sorry about the noise, guys. It's Benji. He's seen a dog he doesn't like. And he's, he's on, the, on his front garden with his owner. So I'm going to place one here as well from the side. But I don't want that to be a long piece. So you've got that. I could use this final bit and have it there. So let's cut that bit down as well. And we'll bring, bring that one just slightly out from the side. So we've got that effect. I don't want that. Now I want my black Fern. Now to start adding in a little bit. Oh, all this fluff. And bring one in between here. So the lady doesn't she say she didn't want the arrangement all around the box, just on one. Well, she said one side, but I'll do it on a corner. I find like doing it on corners gives gives a nice effect but everybody's got their own opinion I've got a small one I'm going to go out from that side again I don't want to go too far out so I'm going to place this around there and just slightly bend that one over we've got another smallish one
All right, let's, I'm going to cut one down. I'm going to pull a few of the leaves off at the bottom because I only want a small one. And the small one, I'm going to place on our bow. Just coming out from the top. So I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I need any more. No, I'm not going to put any more in as of, again as of yet. So, we'll save those a minute. Um, I'll vine. Right, let's get some of this. I... Where's the beginning? Take it off. I don't know what that one's on. Let's take this middle bit off because there's nothing on it. And that gives us two pieces where. I may bring that like that. So one's above and one's going down. So let's get that in. I mean, you can manipulate it to how you'd like. You know, just bring it, just give a bit of height as well. But because it's airy, it do, it's not going to get in the way from viewing our bow in the centre. I do want the points set here to sit. Do I have it at the center? Yeah, I think I'm gonna place it in the center. So let me just get another piece of vine. I want a small one. And bring that coming out from the side. Just where this black fern is. So we've got that going there as well. I don't just wrap these back up. I have got my mountain pine down by my side, but um, I don't know. The lady didn't ask for any particular, I don't know, it may, it may not. But I want to get in our poinsettia, but I just want to, I need to cut this really short guys, so we'll take that off, dip it in. And I'm going to place it Let's see if I can push it a little bit more. Yeah, bring a bit of the foliage over or incorporate it. So you've got it like that. Um, I know by adding a bit of white will set that off. So I may place one in there, one down here and one on the other side. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to glue this one to the top as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's this is my new glue gun and it's so tough. So I need to just hold that a moment while hopefully it sets. I 
I don't want it to be too I would like it to sit like that if anything so I may end up placing something a bit stronger behind it just to balance it out cause, you know I just hold it a moment guys because they are very heavy these these swirls anyway but then I do want one around here and then one around here so I'm just gonna place in let me just pierce um, a hole for it No, it's quite heavy, it's just flopping. So let's see if this works. I want one around there. I'm going to have to do with something with the one up there. Uh, where's the other one? Go crazy. One, two. I had three guys. Oh my good gracious me, what's wrong with me? I either can't see it or it's somewhere I wasn't expecting, is it? Oh, it's here, look. Oh my good gracious me. I'm going to I'll glue that on. So all I'm doing is placing a, a hole in the foam at the back here. Just big enough for it to go, the end of it to go in. I'm placing a, quite a bit of glue on it with it being quite heavy. And I'm just pushing that in the hole. The hole that I made for it. So I'm going to get my glue gun and I'm going to stick this to the leaf of the fern. Let's put that down. So let the fern. Just to like give it that balance to keep it upright, hopefully. So that is with our three swirly bits in. Oh, let me have a drink. Quite like this. I was wondering whether to place that underneath. I may chop it in two actually. So I can use it for different pieces. So do I sorry if I keep turning it, I just need to see. So I want to place one there. Place that there and then that one. But it's got to be at the top because it doesn't look right at the side. Yeah, I'm going to place the big one under the bottom. Oh, let me cut it to a point. So I'm going to go from under here, the poinsettia, and I'm placing it at an angle. Oh, 
and I'm just going to have that leaning there. Now the other one, I just cut that one at an angle as well. I have ordered some of these in white. I spotted them last night, so I, I did order some white ones. And then I'm going to have that. Then I'm going to place that one like that. Again, I've got to remember that, you know, and keep reminding myself that the lady doesn't want it massive. So, right, now we've got to make a choice on how we're going to position our peacock feathers. They want spread in a little bit. I place one with that. I think one can go on the bow. One there and then one maybe down there. So yeah, I'm gonna place one on the bow around here, one down here, and then one somewhere down there, or the opposite. So we're going to place the one on the bow first. So again, let's cut this really short. And this is going to have to be stuck to our, yeah. I'm going to place it in there, just have it stuck on top as well. So I've attached it to the swirl with it, the swirl being quite hard. So give off that nice look. Then I'm going to bring one at an angle there and then one up here. So let's get the one. Oops, I've wiped all glue off. One there, just wipe that glue. And then the other one I'm going to bring here. So if I cut it a little weeny bit shorter, and then I'm going to go. And just give them a bit of movement. So let me just have a look. Yeah. So then we've got that. Now let's, I don't think I'm going to go crazy with the silver. With the gift box being silver, it's as you know as well. I'm gonna have to like I like to bring what's at the bottom up above. It's just something I like to do. Everybody's to their own. But I'm just gonna place that there as well, just behind the black fern. Give a little bit of a silver bit, not too much. I think I'm going crazy. Where are they? Over here. I thought I'd got them out. What's wrong with me today? So again, bring something out from the side. Let's cut that. Oh, 
one side. Like so, so you've got that in the background. See, this is a bigger one, so this could go here. So we'll do that one there. It's got more leaves on. We'll bring that there. I feel I want one above here. Even if it's just weeny, tiny, tiny. So we've got it like that. Oh, coffee. Now we've got our sage leaves. Let's move those out of the way. Now again, I probably... Sorry if I keep turning it, guys. I just have to have a look concerning my positioning. See, that looks nice up there. I need one definitely here. So I'm going to place one down here in the corner underneath where our black fern is. Just let it lean on top and then just, you know, bring a few leaves or other foliage in with it so it looks like it's it's all growing within each other let's have a look at another i don't want that there let's cut one down Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to thread that through there through the swirl and let that hang. Oops, a daisy. Then I think maybe one more. So one, two. Something's telling me around here. So one more around here. So I'm going to cut that really short as well. And I'm going to place that right behind where the peacock feather is. Oops. So that's all I want of those. I don't want any more of those either. So I've got our, let's just get out some poinsettias. I'm getting the small ones out because they come in three different sizes in the pack. Oh, so we want something black up there. So I'm going to place these where I'd like them to be. And then I will show you. If you've noticed what I'm when I'm placing things in, a lot of it is being done in the triangular position again. I want a black there. How far is that away? So we'll keep the length on there. 
and I'm going to place this one in anyway but I'll show you the others I'm going to lift the head slightly so if you can see it's the triangle position it doesn't matter how you turn your triangular uh, things around your elements but obviously the one that's furthest away from the centre where the gift box is would be your point. So these are two of the sh closer together so they're the flat piece of the triangle leading to the point. Like with with these swirls, these are two flat because they're closer together so it's the flat side, there's your point. And that's how you look at it and it's like here, they're closer together, the peacock feathers and there's one down here. So that's your triangle position again so just think of it like that and you know and you I'm sure I'm sure you wonderful people can't go wrong so I'm going to place in those on that side again I'm I work in odd so I may put more in And then I'll place this one up above here. And plus, placing a darker colour with a lighter colour, then it will bounce away from it and give you that pleasing look that will catch your eyes. So, let's see. I don't know about now the... I may add in three put several down again I'm terrible for doing it but I do it so it's I'm sort of like more prepared than anything when it comes to using them I leave the some bunches you know long and things like that and then others I cut several several stems down so I can use them um, and they're already cut for when I want to use them And that's when I call them my oddments. Not that they're oddments that, you know, were the scraps. They're not scraps. <laughs> they're just what I've cut down in advance. Some things I've cut down as I'm working and I've cut too many down. So then they still become my oddments again. Scraps is basically when you've only got the last few of something. Right, let's have a quick look. I think I need a white down here. So let's see if we can form that triangular position. I think bring one maybe around here. If I just stick that in. I'm going to place it actually in because I'm placing it where I want to have them. And then, oh no, or do I bring that down here? No, it's better up above. So we've got them like that. Um, I might bring that down here. Again, a triangular position where that's the shorter side and this is furthest away from them too so there's your triangle turned on its side so let's glue those in just to add a little bit of white you can't not have white and glue that one in lift up that and then this one let me straighten that out a little oops a daisy let's see what's that with a bit of the green in 
Oh guys, that looks really nice. Put a little bit there. I'm just going to crisscross. The lady did say she doesn't want greenery in. I just bring that one down there as well. Right, I've placed just three mountain pine in. Top, I can't see myself, under here. And I think somewhere under here, if I can, I can't see. So again, three for the triangle. You, if you want more, I could place, you know, bring one. But because the stem's too long, I've got nowhere to place it. So if anything, I would get perhaps just one, actually. One moment. Um, let me find it. That. Just bear with me a minute, guys. I've got to pull it out of the bag. Right, so it's only something small I want. So I could get the flocked pine needles and place that in as well. So let's just have a look at that from the front. Oh, it need to be seen. So let's see. Yeah, we'll bring it there. We'll glue this on as well. She's got a bit of pine up above. Not much, just a little. Because the, the, even though we've got the bow here and you can barely see what's at the top of the bow, the arrangement is more, this is your focal point. So we're not putting a lot here, we, but we, I'm only adding the odd bits because I'm bringing a few things from here up here to blend it all together as one. So it's all balanced. So uh, I'm going to... I think place in those pines, the mountain pine. Let's just move that one out of the way. But I'm going to bring it down so it's not in our way. That makes sense. Let me just cut that one a little bit shorter. Place this back here. Again, push it right to, it won't go anymore. How much are they? And then the same here. And I'm going in through this, uh, an angle, not an angle pointing down, but if, oops, I can't. Oh, I've just hit the, I think, hang on, no I'm not happy, let's take it out and cut that one a little as well. I play, what I mean when I'm going in at an angle, instead of going in then bend or in through the side, I'm placing it at the front here but I'm going well, I'm going from the side, but placing it at the front. So I'm sliding it in like that into the foam instead of doing that. So if I just... There we go. So there's the three of the pine. I don't know whether I need any of this, or do I? Just that little bit of Christmassy foliage. Again, let me just have a look. 
one. I think I definitely do need one some down here. Two. Right, let me unravel these because these are on a very short pick. So I want to, and it's only wire, is and it's not strong wire. So I'm going to let me just move that out of the way. I'm going to get some glue, place it here just above the where the wire is. The wired stem, if I can hold it, and then I'm going to wrap this around the glue. So that's got a bit more stability. So if I do that with both of them, or the other two. Let's just unwind those. <laughs> Again, I'm just placing it on top of above the wire on the actual stem, not the actual wire. And I'm just holding it and I'm getting this wire and I'm going back up with it and wrapping that around tightly around our glue. Do the same with this. Oh, I can't get that off. Oh my goodness. They do put some things on really tough. I've had to cut that wire a little bit shorter than it originally is. But it's the same thing, place it on the plastic itself, start going round and then over your glue. Like so. So let me just place those there, get rid of all this. Again, just use hairspray to stop any glitter from you know, coming off. So, where did I say I was going to place them again? I know one around here. So I'm going to place it. Yeah. So I don't want too long of a stem, but just enough to place in. Oh, what's that? So we'll push that in. Like so. Let's have a look. How far away is the foam? Right. So we'll get this one. There, and then I wanted one at the bottom with our points, little black points set here. Just bring that down. I want, to, I think, push it in a little bit more. There we go. 
a bit of force and it'll go in. So we've got it like that. I don't think I need anything else. Do I need anything else black in it? I doubt it. Let's just see. Oh, I may need a few. Three, four, five. I don't think we need any more silver in. So what I'm just going to do with these is just place the odd one so it just slightly sticks out again. I need one where the white is. So where you've got the lighter colour, take it there to the where the black is, uh, the white colour is. And I think I'll bring one down here. Again. think I don't need no more of those I don't need none of those and I don't need no more poinsettia so let's just have a look I've got two of those I thought I had another one at least so I could cut that into three or just use one what shall we do guys because there's not really no silver down here so do I bring it I'll just have that long there oh I can hear Marley guys he's not going to be far away now now we all know I'm here he's been out all day what time are we on oh he thinks it's food time he's got ages yet so I'm bringing a bit of silver at the bottom of a different foliage just to elongate that little bit there and I may I do that's here's that one and one of them so I'm just adding that little bit of a different silver foliage, one of each at the top and one at the bottom. So I'm not going to put any more of those in. If I can cover, fasten the bag. Oops. Oh no, I've just broken <laughs> I've just broken it. <laughs> oh, giddy Ant. Where's a laggy band? Rubber band over it. Stop them all falling out, oh, covering me. So let's see with, I've got these left now. I may or may need something just slightly different. I've got five, didn't I? Um, I don't think I need any more of those. Let me just get some more of those little blocks, pine needles. If I can find any, just a few. I've got one in, so two, three, four, five. So we'll just use five. So we'll place these on the floor as well. Because I can see a few gaps. Well, I say a few, just a little bit of a gap. So I just want to cover them with these. And I can see there. So I'm not going to have these like where I want them to be seen. These are just my filler foliage. <clears throat> I 
so that's that one you just look around you can see one here and I'm pushing it down quite far so it's just got a bit of depth because see we like to have depth so it looks like there's just something new growing from underneath at the bottom just to fill in and I think one there If you wanted, you could add some Christmas ornaments as well. Uh, I think I may have a couple of black glittery ones. Let's have a look. Um, oh, here are, look. That's handy, right near the top. Oh, I've got, I can see three. So three. Three black glitter baubles or Christmas ornaments. As you can see, I've taken the bottom off. So let's put a pick on these. Dip my pick in the glue. Place it in. And you can see the excess glue there. I just wipe around it to give it that neat finish. So it doesn't look, you know, like it's not been, you know, done to uh, great standards, so to speak. Do the same with that. And I'm not pushing the pick all the way to the top. I'm just placing it in about an inch of the pick and then just leaning the rest of the glue that's seeped out and leaning the pick on the side of the hole. And then I just do that and let it seal itself. I just get the glue off while it's drying, off my fingers. Put that in the bin. So that's all let it dry. So again, I've only got three. I didn't want any more. So let's see where these would look nice. I think one up here where the mountain pine is. I'm just going to place these for now. One, one more than likely down here as well. If I can find something to balance it do I place one down here yeah and then one if I just I can't find where to balance it I can't see I'll just stick it there so just like that at the front so again I've got the three and the triangular position so let's get those in. So let me just turn it around, guys. Because I can't, I don't want it any other way. And they've got glitter on as well, black glitter. I can't see. Place it in a little bit more. Do I bring it there? No, I'm going to bring it off to the side. Now I've cut this a little. have that a bit more 
pushed in. Oh gosh, I'm sat on some silver. I didn't, didn't even realise that, guys. How silly. And then again, under this mountain pine, and just have that tucked in. So there we have it. So that's our project for today. Um, I know it's not as contemporary as the lady may have asked for, but um, I think she'd like that idea. Again, it was a re just a request. It wasn't an order. Just to give her an idea. That might look nice in my house. <laughs> so... I hope you like that, guys. Let me see about the lights on. You won't be able to see much of it now. The lights aren't very strong. I wonder if they need new batteries. I, you could place your own lights on it as well. You could get your own Christmas lights and attach around the, the arrangement itself. But it does. Uh, it is supposed to sit sort of like, like that at a like a diamond shape or at the side so that's the way it would be sat so let me just my glue gun's caught let me just get rid of guys because this glitter look at it lots so it definitely does need spraying with hairspray or you can get, again, so use hodgepodge or you can get some uh, spray glue. You spray the glue on to hold it or, again, hairspray. And that will stop all this like glitter, what you see here flaking off because you only have to touch it so let's bring that back there and have it like that so I'll just alter the camera um, just shift these out of the way we'll just alter the camera and then we'll just bring it back up to how it was. Oh my good gracious me. Just so I don't stand on everything. So if you feel that you can do this guys, give it a go. You know, get just get some some a little one gift box. You don't have to have, you know, like I did the three one. You don't have to do that. Right, let's just stand back a bit. Can you see it better like that? No, you can't because that's turned off. We do it like that. So I'll just let's zoom out a little and then bring bring this in. Oops a daisy. Oh, it looks like the uh, lights are going out, like the dimming. I think the batteries need changing. <clears throat> so guys, oh, it's nice to see you, to see you nice. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, just one single gift box uh, where it's just, you know, got black and white and silver just to have something where there's an arrangement. It does cover a bit of this corner, but that's okay. I wanted it to go down here more than this side. So that's what I was aiming for. I could have done it slimmer, 
but with the size of this poinsettia I had to fill in the side here if there were small poinsettia like that in the center or just a small bow instead I I could have made it much more slimmer but because of I had the size of this I had to balance the arrangement up so it didn't look odd but I'm sure if the lady saw that she'd like she'd like that with it being black and white and obviously she said she did want some green in it because it, Christmas isn't Christmas without green green pine so again I hope you enjoyed that we've used our uh, lovely little little tiny peacock feathers aren't they pretty um, our swirls our sage leaf, uh, bay leaf silver glittered bay leaf our black fern some of our flocked pine needles I've got one just uh, tree uh, pine, uh, tree fern here sorry mountain pine the ginkgo leaves our beautiful little black glittery poinsettias some vine and our tree pine and our conifer and our Christmas ornaments or baubles and, our, and some silver uh, conifer as well and also some white twiggy bits what flocked and our sage leaves and the beautiful oh, and a black eucalyptus and our beautiful poinsettia isn't it lovely when they came up on Lily J's oh I spotted it and I thought I'm having some of those <laughs> I've got to have some of those so she's she's got to stop bringing nice things on us you know on the live because she's gonna bankrupt me <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that guys and it gives you an idea what to do with just one single box or gift you instead of going all the way around or just doing something along the bottom and it being you know just around I mean you can if you wanted to have something on the join something on the top with the bottom place a bit of your, your dried foam on the top and attach it with cable tie if you can attach it through you know the box if not glue glue it on if you can do that as well if you can't you know thread a cable tie through um, and just do like a little bit on this side and then drop drip <laughs> <laughs> Dre oh my gosh draping that's the word <laughs> draping down to one side so uh, just so it's just more here even though your focal points there with the points that you, you want your longest piece of fern and you know your foliage coming down to one side so I hope you enjoyed that Give it a go, whether it be in these colours or your own choice of colours with bits of glitter and glam and I'm sure you will have fun and enjoyment. So, I hope you have a wonderful day guys. Please subscribe, share and like and take care and thank you again for all of your comments. I really am touched and it's very heartwarming of you to send some wonderful, wonderful comments and I will always reply um, and again you know keep them coming and uh, just enjoy watching some of the videos and I hope it gives you inspires you and gives you some ideas to create something beautiful for yourself or friends and family or even to sell so again please subscribe share and like to the world to everybody, to Santa and his wife and his elves, whomever, and have a wonderful day. I won't be here tomorrow. Unfortunately, I was going to plan on doing a video on Friday. But again, I've got the other big furniture coming, being delivered tomorrow. So I've got to wait in for that. So fortunately, I haven't got too much to do concerning orders. I've got I was going to plan to do, uh, start making up some more things for the summer craft fair that I'm going to do with my sister. So, uh, but unfortunately, I've got to sit and wait for a text message off of the furniture company to say that they are on their way.
and luckily it's local so I know it won't be long. So have a wonderful weekend guys, take care and keep warm if it's cold where you are and you know keep crafting. So I love you all, God bless, good health and I'll see you next week. Bye for now, bye bye. Right, let's have a little look, guys. Again, I'll get up close. It's got a bit of glitter on. That's not surprising. But there is the black and white poinsettia. Isn't that lovely with these uh, silver little uh, berries in the centre? <coughs> Excuse me. How beautiful. Look at the glitter on that little mini poinsettia. Oh, it's lovely. And the silver conifer. There's our sage leaf. There's our green conifer. There's some of our tree pine. Our Christmas bauble or ornament. Twiggy bits with the flocked, uh, with it being flocked. Some of our black fern. This is our mountain pine. Our swirly bits. Some of our vine, our white uh, fern as well, our black little eucalyptus, and there's the flocked pine needles again, um, and our silver bay leaves, and the ginkgo uh, flat palm. There's one of the uh, tree ferns in glitter. Um, what else did we put in, guys? Oh, the peacock feathers. <laughs> You can't can't deny those pe the little, lovely little peacock feathers, wispy, and the belt at the back where it's black, silver, and white swirls with a you know a silver edging as well. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and give it a go. Have fun, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And sorry about missing a video yesterday. I feel really guilty. Um, but hopefully next week I'll be back on track with the videos. So take care for now and I love you lots. Bye.